Lamp. You suck! Can I still listen to you? You don't need to right now. I need to. It's my privilege. Karens are widely known as some of the most annoying people there are, from thinking themselves above the law to causing giant disturbances. But what happens when they actually get caught? Here are three of the worst Karens there are. Starting with 62-year-old Terry Ann Bluess, who, on May 25th, 2021, had been found yelling at the top of her lungs at the Dallas airport by a police officer while she was trying to go to her aunt's funeral. I did nothing! Ma'am, what happened? This guy chokeholded me! Ma'am. What the f is wrong with him? Mom, keep it okay. No, you need to talk to him. He chokeholded me! They saw it! Ma'am. They saw it! Ma'am, calm down. Listen, I'm fine. I need to get to my great aunt's memorial service. I've been de detained and held up all day. You can go through my bags. I have nothing. My God, what is wrong with America? Calm down. Calm down. No, so that guy needs to be arrested. Come on, let's go over here. You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. Ma'am. You Ma'am. As Terry points to the passengers, she heaves and breaks down hysterically. According to her story, she has been chokeholded by a passenger in the plane. The officer then tries calming Terry down as she throws a tantrum against everyone at the airport. Keep. He chokeholded me! Ma'am, what's your name? I'm Officer Off. He threw me to the ground! What's your name? My name is Terry Ann Blues. Come over here and we'll talk, okay? I want the manager of the f airport here! Who saw me and choked me? Choke me? Who saw him choke me to the ground? Who saw me? Over here. I saw you run through the door here. when you weren't supposed he to. He choked me to the ground! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am. I'm a woman! Over here. In a dress! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am, let's go over here, okay? Boo You f off! Not helping. Not helping. Ma'am, go over here. I want the manager of the airport here! Ma'am! No! Ma'am! No! Calm down. I want the manager here! Okay, we'll get the manager. What is your name? My name is Terry Ann Blues! I'm not gonna be treated like this! Calm down. He yep. chuckled me to the ground! I'm not gonna be treated like this! This childish behavior then continued for a few more minutes, and the officer's patience was running out. Ma'am. Causing problems. Ma'am. Did you try to go in through the door? I don't know. Dude, I'm just trying to get to my aunt's memorial, please. Oh, God. I had a couple of cocktails. Yeah, I'm there. This woman had no reason. Come over here. No, I'm not. Here. I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. The delusional Terry then points to an airport employee, stating that she had been the one who had asked the passenger to chokehold her. The officer inquires about the same, and the truth is finally revealed. So did you guys deny her flight? Okay, so she came over here screaming at me. I told her, are you going to Tyler? I work in Tyler. Tyler, no, you don't do it. You, you, you're not doing that. Then she come over here with attitude, then she went over the, the trip for flight. And we told her to sit down and calm down. She cannot be doing this drama around her. And everybody was looking at her. Yeah. Then when we started the boarding process, um, she she just jumped on, on Marie saying, ma'am, you okay to, to board now? And she started like, acting like crazy, but she, uh, she was screaming in the, in the seat. When uh, we did not deny her boarding, she just ran over the door, and I just followed her and said, ma'am, you cannot do that. And then when I see that guy doing like, something like this, and then, her and she and she just fell over my my foot. Did he push her just because he was trying to? Yeah, I just her? I didn't push her. I just told her, hey, ma'am. Is that guy out there right now? And then another guy, he got a blue shirt. He shot on her and pushed her back. She was she fell on my feet and then she starts screaming and crying. Okay. That's what happened. But with Marines, I would try to because I, she was added to me and then she got added to with Marines. So basically she was denied boarding? Yeah, she was denied boarding because we, 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 we were that. They are not a.
Yeah. Are those uh, two guys on the uh, airplane right now? Yeah, some passengers are down there. Terry, who had been rushing to board the plane, got pushed back in line by a passenger. And when she did not get her way, she decided to cause a ruckus. The officer then proceeds to talk to the passenger to get his side of the story. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you was it you? Yes. Can you come out? She's not going to bother. You can come out, too. How are you? So what happened? So she was I was walking up as soon as I saw him. Yeah, she was bit. making a ruckus over there in front of the thing. We were boarding. And uh, she came up behind us to get in the board line. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't her group, I guess. The lady right here told her to, that she couldn't board. Uh, and she was cussing and making a... And busted through. She tried so to bust through? Yeah. She came over and shut the door to us to go in. One of the door was halfway shut and she came rushing through the door. I pushed it's her back. Jim pushed her she back. said that you grabbed her neck. Uh, you pushed her. So you pushed her back so she couldn't get through. So right? she couldn't get through the door they were trying she to close. Yeah. At this point, Terry has confessed before to having had two drinks. As the situation is becoming too much, another officer joins in and tries to calm Terry down, even offering her water. Terry, however, loses it at the other passengers present in the airport who did not try to help her. You need to investigate. I'm Terry, relax. I'm a retired officer. Okay. I don't know. I don't have to. Who are you a police officer with? New NYPD, is that good enough? No, that's, that's good. Thank you for your service, Terry. No, I don't need to explain why that guy choke holding me when he's a passenger. And nobody here stood Terry. up for me. Nobody f took a report, nothing. Terry, calm down. It's all on camera. Terry. You Relax. bet I'm going to get it. Okay. I'll, re Relax. I'll request it. Yeah, I'll request yeah. every surveillance camera drink, in this Terry. goddamn airport. I just wanted to get her drink information out of it. And why nobody stood up for me? Why nobody saw it? Terry. Everybody saw it. Terry. Nobody would stand up and said this girl was chokeholded by a passenger. Terry. Shame on all of you. Terry, calm down. I don't give a shit. Terry, calm down. Calm down. That's why America's going to the dogs. Terry even mentions that she is a retired police officer of NYPD in hopes that her title could get her off the hook. In a satisfying turn of events, the officers handcuff and arrest her. She, however, won't go down without putting up a fight against them. Because nobody will stand up for anyone. Terry. You piece of Terry. Put your other arm behind your back. Arm, Terry. I'm not, no. Oh, I'm being arrested for being chokehold. Please, somebody film this. Please, someone film this. She's being Don't recorded, ma'am. Please, worry. someone film this. Please. You want to lock it? Yeah. I God got. damn it. Please, someone. Let go of me. Please, let go. Said E38. Oh, my arms hurt so bad. Please, let go of me. Oh, you liar. Let go of me. Calm down. Take it easy. Take no, deep breath. just let go. God damn it, put my legs down. Terry, if we put him down, you're going to drag him. Are you going to hold him up? Put you gonna them hold him down. Up? Are you going to hold him up? Yes. Okay, right. can you hold him up? Thank you. As an officer tries to check her for any weapons or drugs, Terry starts shouting out for help, pretending to be the victim. She then refuses to sit in the police car, saying she has never been arrested and this won't be her first time. Somebody film this! Terry. God yes. damn it, leave me alone! Do you have anything? I have to search you, Terry, just to make sure you f Terry. Terry. Get away from me! Uh, you know, they, they saw, they put my mask off, back on. F*** you! My mask back on. She told me she would help me. She's a two-face. God damn it! Help just got you I was my, kicking my button on camera, so... Yeah. I don't care! Okay. I've never been in jail in my life! You trying to get to my ass in funeral! As an officer tries to make her handcuffs more comfortable, Terry uses this opportunity to try and break free. The officers had to do it the hard way and put Terry in the car themselves. On the way to the police station, if this wasn't enough already, Terry starts yelling racial slurs at the officer who had been trying to calm her down and help her. Your own. How do you like that? Yeah, 
Nothing to say about that, you black officer or piece of shit. Terry is put in an isolation cell until her lawyer arrives. She is finally arrested and charged with public intoxication, resisting arrest, search, and transport, possession of marijuana under two ounces, and possession of a dangerous drug. But if you think this is all a Karen can do, that's because you don't know Jacqueline Fleury, a 30-year-old woman who on 31st December 2021 caused a whole plane to be deboarded as she took another passenger seat and refused to move. What unfolded is one of the cringiest and most annoying Karen moments there are. They did not take me off the plane and I have a reason to go to Alaska. You guys messed up my flight ticket. What's going on? Let's they must have my flight without, ticket. I asked here. for an aisle. They gave me a middle seat. How is that my problem? Jacqueline does not see her fault and demands either a refund or a hotel for the inconvenience caused. They need to let me either they need to buy me a hotel ticket and get me back to New York or they need to let me aboard the plane. Because I already board the plane. Okay. So we'll figure out from them what's going on. Okay, we'll but figure out. Because right now, right now, hey, well. we're here for like your behavior, okay? My behavior? Yeah. Okay, There's I got a plane for the aisle seat. They gave me an E, which is a m middle C. Right. That is not what I paid ID? for. You have your ID? What does that have to do with anything? Right now, the police are here. We're going to find out the who, the why, the what. So I just need to okay, know who well, you, you are. Okay, you better. Yeah. Okay. Right. You're not going to be able to tell that f***ing blind. Okay, let's go have a seat over right. there. Come over here yeah. so that let's go have a seat over there. <laughs> All right, well, you better get me a f***ing hotel. So we're going to talk and figure out what Delta is going to Just yeah. go have a seat on the corner. Right? After police officers talk to her, they then move and keep inquiring about the situation. What unfolded is... I think it's better if you judge it yourself. Right. No, I'm trying to listen to you. You don't need to right now. I need to. It's my privilege. Good, it's your privilege. Okay, thank you. So don't tell me what I cannot and cannot do. No, I would like to hear what people are saying. I'm allowed to hear what they are saying. I'm going to catch up with you. Okay. How is that the nice? What have I done? Well, they're trying, to, they're trying to work what with you. What have I done? You have no idea. I'm just, they're trying to work with you. And they, they have to try to, to work with me by taking me off the plane? Well, what did you do on the airplane? What happened? What? Ask them. Ask them. Having shown an incredible amount of entitlement, coupled with a really annoying voice tone, the officers then inform her that the airline has decided to deny her service. I'm not asking you about my side. I'm asking you what I have done on the plane. Did I touch someone? Did so, I touch someone? So what's your name, Please Jacqueline? explain it. Have I spoken to someone? Did I touch someone? Please tell me if I've spoken to someone and I've touched someone. Okay, so Listen to him. Let, ask okay. him that question. All right, Jacqueline, we're going to leave. Ask him. Jacqueline, you need to leave now. No, been denied. ask him. Okay. Ask him. Ask him Did you want to hear my answer? Someone. Jacqueline, Jacqueline. You better ask. You're gonna be escorted. I don't out. live Delta's here. Not flying. I live in New York. Good. Okay. Delta Dude, has... he was flying for my ticket. You're gonna have to. You got refunded. I got refunded for go. to live in Utah. Yeah. Jacqueline, okay. We're gonna walk out. I don't live here. Passenger. I don't know anyone here. You're if anything, I need to get a ride right back to New York. Okay. We'll walk you out to where the other <laughs> airlines are, okay? Dude, I don't live here! Delta is denying you service, okay? Delta Airlines, a private company, is denying you service. Why, though? The because you guys denied me service. Why? You don't even know why. Okay, so you better out. get me a flight back Grab to New bag. York. Okay. I don't live in Utah. Jacqueline, I've never Jacqueline, been here. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Dude, walk out. We can, work, we can work on you. Where am I going to go? I can answer those questions, but we're going to walk no, out. No, I don't want to go anywhere. Where am I going to go to Utah? You're going to go to the other airlines and try booking there, okay? Dude, are you going to pay for it? 
you're refunded, okay? Okay, well then get my refund and refund me a ticket okay. back yeah, I don't to know New York. She's explicitly explained that despite her flight service having been denied, she is still getting a refund. But instead of accepting it and using the money to buy a new ticket from another airline herself, she dares requesting the police officers to do it. Not long after the police officers proceed to walk her out to buy a new ticket, but seeing no cooperation on her side, they have bad news for her. You know how f up that they are leaving me homeless. Okay, They're leaving me out. homeless. Jacqueline, focus. Okay, we're gonna walk you out. Right walk now, me out to focus. where? To where you could. To the lobby in Utah. At this point, I don't live in Utah. Jacqueline, at this point, we're helping you to go get rebooked. You keep doing this yelling, we're gonna look at criminal charges, okay? Disorderly conduct. Dude, this is on you though. This is not on me, okay? Yeah, this you is caused, on you. you. Caused a disturbance. They have deep No, it. I did not cause a disturbance. Jacqueline, they told me I would get an idol. Jacqueline, Jacqueline. All right, dude, they, give me my. Uh, come here. Give come me here. my. Sh I don't okay. do. Sh Stop! After being arrested, she even kicks the police officer that had handcuffed her. Note that she would be charged for assault of an officer for doing so. No! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Do not move! Do not move! Get off me, perfect! You perfect! Hey! Don't kick me! Understand? Get off me! What you Get off me! If this wasn't enough at this point, Jacqueline also has the audacity to tell an officer to go back to China and several other racial slurs. Get off me, you yeah. Go back to China! Right over there. Jacqueline then breaks loose from her handcuffs and refuses to be handcuffed again, telling the officer he's a pervert when he had just been trying to do his job. The officers eventually succeed in handcuffing Jacqueline again. Jacqueline is finally arrested and faced with charges of disorderly conduct, assault on a police officer, and resisting arrest. Jacqueline is, however, not the only one to get physical during her arrest. As for our next Karen, she's a boyfriend abuser. On 15th July 2022, officers received a call from a concerned neighbor who witnessed an altercation between a man and a woman who seemed to be a couple having a fight. The officer arrives on scene to find the victim walking away with scratches on his neck. What's all the scratches on your neck, man? Right here? Yeah. 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 What's your, do you have an ID on you, bro? You don't? What's your name, man? I don't need to tell you. Yeah, look, bro. I mean, it doesn't need to be complicated, man. Hey. I didn't break no laws. I didn't. I know, but I have a lawful reason to stop you, no, okay? What? Because we got dispatched, you matched the description of the guy that was getting beat up by a girl, okay? You have injuries on your neck, all right? It don't matter. It does matter. The man refuses not only to identify himself, which is not illegal, as the officer says, as we saw in this video right here, but also, he decides not to press any charges against his woman, despite her having beat him all up. I ain't pressing no charges, so what are you guys gonna do? Just take my name and Anymore? No. Or not take your name and take you straight to jail for concealing your identity. Concealing my identity. That, is, that in itself is a crime. So you are committing a crime at the moment that I could take you to jail on. So you guys could, you guys are able to stop someone that's walking on the public street Correct. and ask them for their ID whenever you want. No. What I'm telling well, you, man, what you is I was dispatched to this area for a domestic disturbance between a chick with a pink shirt and blonde hair and a male in all black. Yeah. Okay. You fit the description, you got injuries on your neck, which means you got beat up by a chick, okay? So I have a lawful reason, I have a lawful reason to stop and identify you. Not long after a small discussion, they agree and the man guides the officers to where his girlfriend is. The officer then asks the man to wait in the car while he talks to his partner. He would have never imagined what would unfold next. So what's going on? I, I just had an argument. It's nothing serious. I'm sorry. It was more on my part. So I can give him my ID. In the okay, where's your ID? Uh, right here. There you go. It just expired. <laughs> here we see the woman in question lying on the ground while talking to someone. She then goes on to say, 
that the argument wasn't that serious at all and provides her ID to the officer, which is expired. The woman proceeds to explain the whole situation to the officer. So what's your relationship with this guy? Uh, that's my boyfriend for about a year now. Okay. And so what's going on between you two? Just a verbal argument, but like you said, we're both at my mom's shop right now. It was nothing extravagant. Okay. It's more than a verbal argument because we had people calling in saying that a female was hanging on the shirt of a male. Like that. And there was screaming, so. I mean, you can check me and you can go to the no, shop. And he's then... bleeding, you're bleeding. I mean, you can talk to all of us, though, but no, he, he didn't do anything. Like that to me, if anything, was myself. And my nails. Look at my nails. Okay, right what there. happened? I scratch myself. I do get pretty crazy myself. I put nothing on him. She explains the situation, but does so in a way to make it all seem like a vague and normal discussion that a couple might have as if trying to protect both's integrity. She then even goes as far as believing she's within her right and says she does not have an issue being arrested. She even testifies for the victim, claiming he's fine. So what I know in need? my law enforcement and my dictionary and stuff, you guys can't charge anything. In your what? Law enforcement? You know what I'm saying? My, my, like, my rights. And I'm sitting here and telling you right now, like, I'm fine. He's fine. You have an address. You have my ID. I can give you my social security right now. I have no problem with that, sir. Okay. It's just, I don't want no problems. This is my man. We had an argument. That's it. Sorry. Okay. Well, but I have man. a problem when people job, have. Uh, but it's also. One. Okay. Do you ever have another problem? Okay. Knock. When someone batters another person in a domestic did violence. Did see that, or did they just hear us arguing? Because I yell. I yell like a mother. I ain't lying, it's not even him half the time, it's me. Okay. I will completely say that. I'll go to jail right now for that. Okay. That's me. Let's go, 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 go. Leave him the after hilariously saying that she would go to jail for the situation and thus being arrested, she then seems to have a realization of what's going on and her demeanor absolutely shifts into that of a crazy person, going as far as kicking the officer. You're a f***ing bald ass f***ing fat white ass f***ing Go! Hey, you f***ing you! Oh, yeah. Hey, you not like that. I'm telling you, respectfully, do not f***ing touch her like that. Stop. Tries to kick me? She just broke my glasses. Oh, chill the f*** out, for real. Am I getting arrested? No, no, no. Well, you can kick me, can't you? Bro, the f out! Move your foot in there, hurry up. I got you kicked me in the face. Hey, stop. How about yourself with your Stop. Stop. I hope she's gonna buy me some new glasses. Hang on, let me go get my shot. Having gone absolutely berserk, she has her feet cuffed as well and then mentions her uncle being a police officer and asks them to call him, thinking this would be her get out of trouble ticket. My uncle Ryan Rodriguez was a dumb mother. See what the happened. Stop. Kim, you ain't. Yeah, Yeah, call him. Call him. Call Ryan. Hey, settle down. Hey, hey, call Ryan right now. No, Ryan doesn't matter. Yeah, it matters. That's why you like calling him, right? Stop. Call him. 
No. Call him, mother. Call my uncle Ryan. Be a. Call my uncle Ryan. Stop. Call him. Settle down. I'm not calling Ryan. Can you pick up a woman by yourself? Okay. You need okay. handcuffs. Yeah. Shut okay. up. Grab you. Seeing no alternative due to her erratic behavior, her head is covered with a piece of cloth by the officers so she can't spit on them and then is put on the back seat of the car. Nuts is too small of a word for what this woman is. <laughs> no! I'm not married. No one wants to the Karen even tries to bribe the officer as if that would suffice after all the mayhem she just caused. What the f do you want me to say, bro? What do you want me to say? How much you want me to pay you? How much? What's worth it for you? What? What do you want? Uh, don't talk like that. You'll just get yourself in more trouble. Obviously, it doesn't matter what trouble I'm in because I didn't do nothing and I'm in the of a back cop car. So far after her arrest, she showed signs of having finally relaxed despite the disrupted behavior. But as we saw before, it didn't last for too long. Hey, knock it off. You're gonna let me out or not? Because I didn't do s to you. I didn't do s to you. So I'm gonna get the f out like a normal person. So I know drug dealer, or I know f junkie. F y'all. I'm dating a drug dealer, but I ain't no drug The woman ended up being charged with damage to property, assault, and battery upon a peace officer, resisting arrest, and domestic battery. Hope you liked this video. Subscribe for more and watch this one.